Hello and welcome to our tutorial on Society Management System in PHP MySQL. In this video, we will be showing you how to download complete source code of this Society Management System. And then after, we will show you how to run this web application in your local computer. And lastly, we will show you demo of this Society Management System which will allow you to manage a housing society by keeping track of flat owners, visitors, complaints, payments, and generating reports. Now first, we will show you where to download complete source code of this society management system. So this is blog of post of this society management system where you can find online demo link of this PHP project. And this blog post link you can find under this video description. Now for find demo link, so we have to scroll this web page. And after scrolling web page, here at the end of this page, we can find demo link of the system. So we have to click on this link, and after click on the link. Here it has redirect us to login page of this society management system. And below login page, we can find login email address details and password details of admin and sub user. So here, we have to enter admin user, email address and password details. And after this, we have to click on the login button, and after click on the login button. Here we can see the dashboard page of this society management system. Now for download source code, here at the left side bar menu. We can find source code link, so we have to click on this link. So after click on this link, we can see that source code file has been started for download in our local computer. Now here in local computer, we have to copy this file. And goes to directory where we have to run our PHP script. So here we have pasted source code RAR file and from this directory, we can run PHP file. Now we have to extract this file, so we have to right click on the source code file. And after this, we have to extract this source code file. So here, we can see extracted source code in our local computer. Now here in the browser, we have goes into PHP my admin. And here, we have to create new database and under this database. My SQL table will be automatically created when we have first time run this system. After this, we have to open source code file under text editor. And here, first we have to open config.php file. And under this file, we have to first define my SQL database configuration details. So here in database host name, we have to enter localhost. In database name, we have to write database name which we have create earlier in PHP my admin. After this, in database username, we have to write root, and in password, we have to leave blank. So after define this database configuration, so this system will make database configuration. Now here in the browser, we have to run index file of this society management system. So here, you have to enter base URL from where you have put the system source code file. So after run index file of society management system, then it has display. Message like setup is done, and you can log in using this login credential. Now here, in the PHP my admin, we can see that required tables has been created with sample data. So you can easily check the society management system in your local computer. Now we want to show you simple functionality of this society management system. So here, we have enter login details like email address and password. And after this, we have click on the login button and after it has redirect us to dashboard page. Here we have login as admin user, so we have full rights to access complete system. So here, on dashboard page, we can see analytics data of this society management system. 
So admin can view number of flats, total bills, total allotment, total visitors and total complaint data. So from this analytics web page, admin can view complete picture of the system. Under this system, admin or other user can change their profile details from this link. So here, we can see profile page has been display and here admin or sub user can change their profile details. After this, under this system, for change password details, we have to click on this change password link. So here, we can see that change password page has been display where admin or user can change their password details. Now we have show you different modules of this society management system. So first, we have click on user link. So here we can see that user management module has been load. This module can be accessed by only admin user and only admin can create new user under this system. So from this web page, admin can manage user data like create new user, edit existing user data and remove user from this system. After this, we have click on flats links and after click on this link. Here we can see that flats management web page has been load in the browser. And this module can be only accessed by admin and admin can add new flats data, edit existing flats data and remove flats data from the system. In short, admin can manage housing society flats data from this web page. After this, we have to click on this allotment link. So here we can see that allotment management page has been load and this module can be only accessed by admin only. And under this module, admin can assign flat to particular user or add new allotment data under this system. Under this module, admin user can edit existing allotment data and admin can also remove allotment data also. Now we have click on this bill link. So here bill management module has been load in the browser. And this module can be accessed by both admin and other user also. But here admin can assign bill amount to flat owner. And flat owner can pay different bill amount and both user can view bill details also. For example for add new bill data. So we have click on this add button. So here new bill page has been display. So here we can define bill details like bill title, flat number, bill amount, and bill month details. After this, we have click on add bill button. So here we can see that bill has been added under this system. Now in another browser, we have login with user under this system. So here, we have to enter user login details one by one. And after this, we have click on this login button. So after click on login button. Here we can see that user has been login into system and user can see that one notification has been received. So we have click on notification icon. So here notification has been drop down. And now we have click on notification message. So here view bill details page has been load. Now here you can user can pay bill amount by entering this details and click on payment button. So here can see that payment made successful message has been display and then after user can view bill details also. Now at admin side, we have to refresh web page. So after refresh of web page. Here at admin side, we can also view that one notification has been received. So we have click on notification icon. So here we can see that one flat owner has paid bill amount and we have click on notification message. So here we can see that bill details has been view on the web page. So this way. Admin can assign bill to different flat owner and flat owner can pay bill amount. After this, we have goes to user side and click on complaints link. So here, 
Complaints management web page has been loaded, and this page can be accessed by both admin and other user also. User can raise a complaint, and admin can process and resolve this complaint. So here, for raise complaint, we have to click on add button. So here we can see that new complaint form has been displayed. Now we have to define complaint description. And then after, we have to click on add button. So complaint has been added under this system. Now at admin side, we have click on complaint link. So after click on this link. We can see that all society complaint has been displayed. And here we can see one notification has been displayed. Now for process this complaint, we have to click on view button. So here admin can view complaint details. And here, admin can write comment regarding this complaint and change complaint status. And for resolve complaint, admin has to click on view button and here he has to define comment and select complaint status resolve. And after this click on proceed. So here we can see success message and here complaint status has been changed to resolve. Now at the user side, First we have refresh web page and here user has received notification regarding his or her complaint. And here in list of his or her complaint status has been changed and for check complaint details. We have to click on the view button so here user can view complete user comment under complaint details. Now for check visitor management module we have goes to admin side. And here we have to click on visitor link. So here we can see that visitor management module has been loaded. And this module can be accessed by admin and other user also. But here admin can view all visitor data. While other user can view only that visitor data who was visit in his or her flat. Now for add new visitor data. So we have to click on add button. So here add new visitor form has been displayed. Now here we have one by one fill add new visitor form details. And after this, we have to click on add visitor button. So new visitor data has been stored under this system. Now for update visitor outgoing time. So here we have to click on view button. So here we can view visitor details and here we can define outgoing comment and outgoing date and time. Now at user side also, user can view his or her visitor details and user can view complete details of visitor also. Now we have goes to admin side and click on the reports link so admin or user can view report data. Here admin can view complete society bill, complaint and visitor data. While user can view report data regarding his or her flat only. Now at admin side, we want to view report of bill. So here we have to select bill, start date and end date. And after this, we have click on generate report button. So after click on the report button. Here we can see that all bill data has been displayed on the web page in a table format. And here this data we can also export in the CSV file also by click on this button. Same way admin can generate report for complaint and visitor data also. And that's it. Our society management system is now complete. We hope you found this tutorial useful and learned something new. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.